Hey, what's up, Freaky Beard here, and welcome back to episode 8 of Hardcore Modded Minecraft. And I just got back from the ocean. I went way out to a bunch of the ruins, and I can show the map here. We zoom out and pull this thing way up. You can see just how far out I actually went. And I have all of these marked, showing suspicious gravel here, 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 and I believe there's another one. I gotta go back with brushes and potion of water breathing to be able to get whatever is in the suspicious gravel. But what I did get is all of this stuff from the ruins. I got nine sea lanterns. Let's see, luck of the sea two, lure two, and lure two, we get lure three. Yeah. We'll have to see you get Lure 3 or Luck of the C3 out of this by combining it. Not as contentious as I thought it was going to be. I mean, there were some drowns here and there. But for the most part, it was uh, easy peasy. So I'm going to run over here real fast and put all of these sea lanterns in the pool. I think I'm going to grab some nether rack and then head inside the nether because I need to get to the fortress and try to get my hands on some nether warts so we can get one step closer to healing zombie villagers and mending along with a lot of other really good things that we need. But that's what's on tap for today, so let's get to it. Need to get in here and actually wrong place. Need to get in here and get these out so I can put them into their respectful slots. There's one. You can see I I filled up the pool already with water. There's that. I believe there's one in the bottom of the hot tub. There we go. Oh wait, that's right. We don't do that. We have the soul sand to give us the impression of hot tub bubbles. What is that walking around over there? Oh, do we have a raid again? Pretty sure that's <laughs> that's another raid. All right. Well, let's deal with that. I have 20 arrows. Let's eat first before we get involved with this. Anyway, long distance on one of these guys. No go. Very different on Java compared to Bedrock. I'll say that. Here they come. Yeah, I shoot arrows too. Crazy, right? Yep, you can shoot each other. All right, there's one for you, like four for me, five for me, and let's go get that captain. You're not getting out of this. I mean, I know I missed one here. Got some for you. That's too bad. Did you drop your banner and your potion? There it is. What did we get this time around? Bad Omen 4. I know that none of the uh, two, three, four have any differences yet, but that they will in the future. So we'll just put that back in the house along with the other things. And then, like I said, get some nether rack, get situated and head ourselves into the nether. I don't know why I'm getting into this. We're going to put this here. What do we have at this point? Two and three. Well, let's do five. I didn't even know it went up to five, but all right. Going to get into the backpack and start dumping all of this stuff into here and then and getting it to its rightful place in the chest. That comes out luck of the C3. Let's flip it the other way. That's way too expensive. I gotta stop doing this. I'm wasting levels like crazy, so I'm gonna put these other two back and we'll drop that here. Anyway, I got the uh, couple stacks of nether rack. I don't need to wait for uh, morning because we're gonna be in the nether and I'm gonna go ahead and head that way now. And here we are, you can see what I've done. I've uh, blocked up the portal a long time ago to make sure that nothing happened to it. And I've spent a fair amount of time making sure that I don't come out here and have trouble, but you can kind of see, you've got a couple of windows knowing damn well this guy can jump right in here. This takes me straight down to my netherite mine and my quartz mine. And this direction here is going to take me to the nether fortress. That's right. I was going to show how I was able to locate that. I believe it is, yeah, right there. So you can see this really took a while to map my way through to get there. But, and it's not showing all of my pathways there. I wonder if it's because I'm on different levels in here and it changes. But either way, I'm going to try to get myself back over to the entrance of this thing. And it's, it's as you can see, it's quite a ways out there. 350 blocks away gotta go this way and anyway a lot of in and out of the warp forest and there were sections where i was this one was very very precarious going across here considering all the lava beneath me but each time i've come through i haven't seen any gas in this area so i'm not complaining you know what some quartz right over there that i missed like in uh plain sight see I don't think so. Not right now. This is exactly how you uh, screw up in hardcore and lose the series. Going off to do things that you really shouldn't be doing. And here we are to the uh, last bridge to the opening of the fortress. I was not able, and I always hear this piglin brute 
somewhere around me. I'm not exactly sure. I ran out of another rack when I was in here to try to cover my head. I feel like some gas could spawn here. Haven't seen them yet, but wouldn't be surprised if they did. I'm going to move this out of the way, get it ready, because even though I didn't get this lined up properly when I was placing these backwards, because you can't, uh, like on bedrock, place them going forward, uh, I got shot in the ass by some, uh, by a couple of blaze and almost lost the series right here off camera. Almost got blown off of there, but uh, I was able to save it now. And there we go. Speak of the devil. So they can clearly see me from whatever distance. I'm not sure if there's a spawner over there or what. You can definitely tell how they have crazy range, but anyway... I haven't been able to get in there yet. What I did see is that there were a bunch of wither skeletons. This, uh, and I didn't even see that coming in. All right. This here, though, that's a dangerous. Look at these guys spawning right there. They're going to shoot at me in just a second. There we go. All right. Look at me. I'm just trying to be able to put myself a bit of an angle so it's not so hard of a. In the event that I've got to run. Look at these assholes. Well, they're just not going to give it up, are they? All right. Well, got to eat again. And I'm hoping that there's a blaze spawner nearby. I'm going to need some blaze rods in order to get the brewing station going. Now, these guys really have range on me. So, I don't want to just blindly run into the fortress. Like I said, I saw a bunch of wither skeletons in that area. I'm going to have to turn around and really take off the other direction. All right, let's see what happens here. Let's get this ready. Let's go up top, maybe. I know these guys are pretty tall. The blaze can get up underneath that, though. Not seeing anything yet. Looks like we got... Enderman down here. Oh, there we go. There's another warts right there, right out of the gate. But I'm not just going to come here for that. I'm going to explore a little bit. All right, that's not going anywhere. Good to know. I could try to get down there and see. That's pretty damn dangerous. All right. Well, not really sure. If we've got an issue this way or not, but just to be on the safe side, in case there is, in fact, uh, wither skeletons, I'm just going to keep doing this so I can get up underneath there and take them out easily. All right, well, that's definitely a spot. What do we have here? Look at there. Three nether warts. We don't even have to take the ones that are growing if we don't want to. But I think that I will. We have this all blocked off now. And I'm going to take some of this soul sand to be able to grow this up. Boy, these blazes are going nuts around here. I'm going to need to get all of this. There we go. And let's get the shovel and get these guys out of here. And there we go. Okay, not sure where this is going. Didn't want to do that. Whoops. Let's take that out. I'm going to need to find a blaze spawner. Okay, here we go. We have a chest and a dead end. Oh, look at there. Another saddle, three iron ingot, and a gold sword. Really need to start putting this stuff up here. I'm going to run out of room very quickly if I don't. So, so far, that's the loot. I'm a little curious as to where these wither skeleton went. Go up this way. Wait a minute. This does not look familiar at all, and it, it's not. Not been that way. So, I think every intersection I'm going to do this, hopefully, allowing myself an opportunity to get up underneath this stuff. What do we have over here? Uh, there's another chest down there. 
That's pretty dangerous above. Let's see what this is. Looks clear, but again, I need to be on the safe side with all of this. I mean, that is wide open. What do we have? We go left or right. Just got to keep track of the directions that we're going. Another dead end, but let's check this chest here. All right. Gold horse armor and flint and steel. What do we have over here? Another dead end. That's interesting. So far, well, there's our bridge. I'm not exactly... I mean, I know the blaze can just spawn in. But... Um, I really hope I can find a blaze spawner in here. That's going to come in very handy for me. That does not look familiar either. No. Oh, wait a minute. I'm hearing some, uh, what's probably some wither skeletons. There we go. There's one. Yep, you're not getting through. Uh, we got two of them. Maybe we'll get a uh, wither skull. What do we have? That uh, looks like coal and bones. All right. Well, I am going to move this stuff up again. So I know exactly what loot came out of here. We did get a stone sword. Not that we really need that. There's some quartz. And we got another. And we got a wither skeleton down that direction. I'm probably being overly cautious, but I've come a long way to this point. Wait a minute. There's a blaze right there. All right. Either way, we're going to grab this quartz. And I believe there's some more down here. That's terrible. Just one. All right. We've got a couple of different directions we can continue with here. Is that just a dead end? I believe it is. We're going to grab this quartz right here. This is not good. I would love to find a... Uh, I'm going to do this in the event that i got to run back up this thing. I would love to find a blaze spawner, but so far so bad. Here we go. Let's get the other stack ready. We'll move the quartz up there. All right, what do we have here? More quartz. I don't know. I see a blaze down there. Just going to grab this. Probably not the smartest thing I could have done right there. They spawn in behind me and then it's game over. Okay. Let's go straight for now. Like I said, maybe I'm wasting my time with that kind of stuff, but can't be too careful in here. What do we have? Oh, we have ourselves a blaze spawner. Here we go, right here. I need to make sure that I can get right back to this spot. Let's run down here and grab this quartz. I know I don't really need quartz at this point, but I do need the easy XP to get myself leveled up again because at some point i'm gonna have to start making way better armor and way better weapons than what i currently have i mean i'm feeling pretty good i'm not overconfident there we go that's a problem can he just drop off here i don't think so we're gonna leave him to it and there we go we know we came down this guy right here I am shocked that I didn't bother to block this side off. That wasn't very smart either. There's a magma down there. And we're going to keep heading in this direction, I guess. So the good news is, anyway, we at least have found a... Oh, no. That's not good. All right. Come on over. Get what's coming to you. And more coal. 
I'm not sure. Did we look down this way? I would assume we did. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And put a torch here. I'm guessing this is the direction we came down. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Well, now we got to figure out. Was it this way? I remember that. Nope. Dead end. All right. Let's go back up here. Let's not bother the Cinderman. Kind of hard to see with all those particles. Oh, that's interesting. That's not the way either. All right. Well. This is clearly not the direction uh, that I would have come in here. So I wonder, had to be around this way. And then down, perhaps. Over here, yep. Yeah. I'm assuming to the right, maybe? That's the portal we need to get back. Oh, look at there. I'm not sure. Is there an actual, uh... I mean, we could use the blaze rod if they drop it. Now, got the into the fire, into fire advancement. There we go. Here it is. Oh, there's a lot of blaze here. Let's do this. I mean, that's not the most ideal thing. Well, we're narrowing the, the options of these guys. Giving myself a little bit of a protective area. I want to be able to get in there and get some more of these, uh, get some more of these guys. So let's try to be quick about this. Ooh. That would have been bad. There we go. And we got ourselves a blaze rod, so that's pretty good. I did see another one around. In one of these directions. Here we are. Get this guy. Try not to be too stupid with this. I don't think we got any others. I can hear wither skeletons walking around, but there we are. Can we lure this guy over too? Come on down here. A little concerned with what's above me. That's not good. Is there a spawner up there, perhaps? Is that what's going on? And I didn't realize we have one closer to us? I don't think so. Let's see if we can get this guy. I want to keep these guys near me. At the same time, I don't want to burn myself up. So, again, got to be smart about this. Come on over here. Need these blaze rods. There we go. I don't know if we got one off of him. Now we got six of them. Either way, we at least know the location to get where we need to go. And that's as simple as that. Just follow the torches. I'm going to run my ass all the way back to the base. And I need to make that more of an angle too. So it's not such a sharp turn like that. I should have done that before, but... Was trying to conserve the nether rack so I could put some above me, and I'm gonna have to bring a bunch more back. I have a lot down in the mine, so that would be ideal. I don't technically have to leave yet, but I'm gonna at least get to home, get all this stuff away, and call this an episode. Because, like I said, I'm feeling pretty good. The next step is to hopefully lure in a zombie villager into the library and get them healed. Now that we have the nether warts and we have uh, a few blaze rods to get those potions created. And with any luck, we'll make a lectern and end up with a villager with mending. And then we can really start getting this thing going. I won't have to feel as worried or anxious about stuff breaking on me, even though I don't really let it get that low. But... 
I need to eat, probably. But in all seriousness, I need to get myself in some really good armor and really good weapons so that I can begin taking on much harder tasks in this. And the other thing is I'm going to have to start farming wither skeletons anyway if I want to be able to spawn the wither and try to fight that at some point in the future. So I'm going to hurry my ass out of here. You can see just how far of a run that actually is. Getting back into this section. And here we go. We found ourselves to the portal. So once again, I would say that that is a successful run. Now we're on to spending however many nights it's going to take to lure in a zombie villager and get him cured. And hopefully getting mending as fast as possible. So until then, I'll catch you guys in the next one.